Hey Gardenstead fans, it's Kimber down in the garden. Today is one of my favorite days because it is potato harvesting time. And I love to harvest potatoes because it's a great big mystery. All season long, I get to see everything else there in the garden grow and mature and develop until they're ready to be harvested. And I know exactly when to harvest them because I can see. But potatoes, on the other hand, especially if this is your first time growing them, are a great big mystery. When are they ready? You can't see them at all. You don't know what's going on below the ground or below whatever you have used in order to mound your potatoes. So how do you know when to harvest them? And the quick answer is when the plant looks completely dead. Potatoes grow beautifully tall. Some of them even flower, but if yours didn't flower, don't worry, it's not a big deal. It's not important to the potato production. But you can spend all summer enjoying the beautiful growth and then it looks very sad in your garden. It looks very sad on this side of the garden too because the plants have completely died back. Well, some of them haven't, but they're close enough. So I'm gonna harvest some of them today and see what we have. Now, when you decide to harvest your plants, you can choose when to harvest them. You can harvest them early on and get what we call new potatoes, which would be potatoes with a softer skin, and you need to use those right away. So you can kind of like lettuce when you come and cut again, with potatoes for early season, you can come and harvest a few potatoes from the top and then replant the plant, give it some good water, and it'll continue to grow through the season. Now, at this point in my garden, they're ready to come up. This is gonna be a full harvest day for us. And I kind of cheated and peeked a little bit the other day and I saw some potatoes, so I'm really excited to dig them all up and see how many we actually get. So, let's go see what we get. Dear potatoes, look like this completely and utterly sad. Well, then that means it's time to harvest the potatoes. I was gonna go straight for my red Pontiac potatoes and start harvesting those, but then I remembered that I have a volunteer potato. And a volunteer potato, if you don't know what those are, it is when you don't plant something new. In fact, something got left behind last year, potato-wise, and it decided to grow again. So let's go and dig up this potato and see what has grown. I'm really excited to see what is down here. Let's check on the red Pontiac potatoes next. There's sure to be some great things down there. We dug up the first row of potatoes and we actually found about 50 potatoes, which was really exciting. I told you you can harvest potatoes when they are new, which is when they're younger, or you can harvest them at the end of the growing season when they're full. But how do you know if they're new potatoes or if they're the kind that have matured enough that you can store for future use? Well, all you have to do after you harvest your, your potato is just rub the skin a little bit. And this is dirt coming off. But if it is the skin that's coming off and easily rubs off, then that is a new potato, which means you're going to need to use that right away. So harvest some of those. They'll be the ones at the very top layer of the soil. Harvest those and use those for dinner tonight. But if you try and rub off the skin and it doesn't come off at all, then it's a mature potato and that means that you can save those. So what do you do? How do you save your potatoes? Well after you dig them all up you want to leave them out in the garden for about an hour and then after that you can bring them in. You can wipe off some of the soil but don't wash them. That's going to make them completely susceptible to so many problems. So leave them as they are and put them in a dry, dark, cool space so that they can cure. So potatoes will need to cure for a week to two weeks if you want to save them through the winter. So put them in a nice dark room, dark closet, spread them all out so that they can have air circulation for that short time and make sure the room is very cool. You want it to be 65 degrees at most for those two weeks. Then when you want to store them, you really want it to be about 40 degrees and completely dark. You don't want it to see the light. So what I do is I'm going to leave all the ones I harvest today out here for an hour then I'll come back down with the kids and let them put them all back into boxes and we'll put them into our nice cold unfinished basement. We'll lay them out there and let them dry and then in about a week or two come and check on them see how dry they are and then I'll put them back into a box and I'll put them into storage so that we'll be able to have them for quite a while. So those are the potatoes. I'm going to go back 
harvest some more, see how many I get. I'm very excited. I hope that you have a wonderful time harvesting your potatoes. If you have any potato questions, let us know. We would be more than happy to help you solve those and enjoy a fantastic harvest.